What's up, guys? Welcome to The Parlay. Today, I'm Albert Vartanian, and here's what's happening. This Sunday night, we have a big-time matchup between two of the best NFL quarterbacks in the game. Mahomes and the Chiefs head to Baltimore to take on Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Jackson is 0-3 against the Chiefs and has said that Kansas City is their kryptonite. So could this be the game where Jackson gets one up on the Chiefs? Here's Luca Rosano. He's played them three times since Lamar Jackson took over as starting quarterback. And he's 3-0 in those games. In the three games between Mahomes and Jackson, the Chiefs have outscored the Ravens by an average of 13.3 points per game in the first half. Last year against the Chiefs, the Ravens trailed 27-10 at the half and then had to play catch-up for the rest of the game, which is something they don't do well. You have a better chance of hitting a five-team parlay than the Ravens do of pulling off a comeback against a good team. Mahomes doesn't lose in September, and he doesn't lose against the Ravens. That's enough for me to take the Chiefs here in this spot. Here are my picks. Take the Chiefs minus 3.5 at minus 110. Take over 55 at minus 110. Yesterday, Noor hit us with her pick for the NBA Defensive Player of the Year. Today, she continues with her NBA futures, but this time she takes a look at the coaches. Last season, Tom Thibodeau took home the honors for the second time in his career, and Noor thinks we can have another two-time champion this season. You know what time it is, future picks, and today we go over Coach of the Year. And for that, I'm going all in on Steve Kerr. We're all very familiar with what the Warriors used to be, but after a year full of injuries and COVID and placements, we're about to get the band back together. And that band, Steph, Draymond, and Clay, is some of the best basketball we've seen in our lifetimes. It's what I'm grateful for. They also have Jordan Poole, Wiggins, and Wiseman, and added two NBA-ready players in Moody and Kaminga. And if you're still not convinced, watch what Steph did last year. I'll get you a YouTube link. Don't get out of your seat. Don't move. Steph to coach up the year is what Steve Kerr is to MVP. And that's one team I'll be following very closely next year. The Tampa Bay Rays have an eight game lead in the AL East and are closing in on another division title. In their way on Thursday, the Detroit Tigers who've won six of their last 10 games. Here's the zoobs on why the Tigers could make things difficult for the Rays come Thursday night. For the last five years or so, the Tigers have been considered a bottom feeder in the AL Central, losing more than 60% of their games each of the last four years. The Tigers are finally trending up in 2021, and in the second half of the season, they've been an above 500 team with a plus 26 run differential. Not bad after almost half a decade of struggling. Thursday's test is not easy. They are in Tampa taking on the AL East leading Rays, but they did just beat them in a series last week. We're taking those pesky Tigers to continue being a thorn in the side of the Rays. Take your road dogs at value plus 175. And last week's series was very high scoring. Look for that to continue. Take the over eight and a half runs, minus 105. Well, that's it. I'm Albert Vartanian, and that's what's happening. Don't forget to follow us at The Parlay on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And come visit us at theparlay.com.